Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil, I'm a top grandmaster playing Risk Global Domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe, follow, and hey, turn your notifications on so you know when my next video pops up. All right, I'm the orange player in this game. We're playing Classic Fixed. Uh, it looks like I think everybody readied up. So we have a six player game. Uh, alliances are on, fog is off, blizzards are on. Uh, we got neutral bots. I went with neutral. I don't know. Mixing it up. Uh, stable portals. What else do you need to know? 60 second turns expert AI. Tell you what to do. Okay. So I have a lot of troops down in Australia and South America, which is not usually good because a lot of times they just get slammed and I can't lose eight troops and have 12. So I'm going to have to maneuver this. Did I pick capitals? I picked capitals on accident. Dudes, I picked capitals on accident. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, total accident picking capitals. So we might be in for a long haul. Hydrate. I need some actual water. All right, so this one in, in North America is obviously my best one. I'm an ally with everybody. What can I get? Maybe maybe Europe eventually? Wow, I had no idea I had capitals on. So that's what we're doing. We're doing. We're doing a caps game. A fixed caps game. Oh. If this wasn't ranked on my main, I would leave. Um Okay. Wow, what a all right, well, we're in for it, guys. We're in for it. So my goal here with fix, this is a bad cap spot because of there's a blizzard there. I mean, you have to double guard. It's not the same as is what um, Indonesia would be without it. So... My goal is to try to save as many troops as possible. Since it's capitals, I can get slammed and be okay. Ugh. I hope this game doesn't last hours. But you're in for it too if you're watching. I do have a portal right next to my cap, which is good. I landed on zero portals. So maybe red will punch up, and then I can punch up with my four and fortify these together and stack all on my cap. That would be cool. These over to here. I think white maybe hits this too right away. Red could attack up and then move this three over. And then I could attack up two hits and go through the portal. I don't know. We'll see. The, are they trying to get North America? You're not getting North America with that cap. It doesn't make sense. And I can't get Europe now. Basically, there's no continent I can get. Fortify the three in. I might just hit up one. Do I want to hit twice? I don't really want to add to it. Where are you where are you getting your card, man? There? 7v2. And then fortify back to your cap. 7v3? That doesn't make sense. 7v2 made more sense. 
So who's accepting my alliance? I don't think anybody messes with me, but we'll see. I can add them all here and go one, two into my capital. That's something to think about. Or add two here, maybe. So I can fortify these. This is a weird move. That, I also want to get out of here. Basically, I want to go everywhere. Because now I can get out of... When do we think purple rolls it? Okay. I mean, it doesn't make sense to make more than one hit and just lose your troops. Let them hit it if they're going to hit it. But I can get... If if they let me, I'll get all my troops out of their bonuses. But... I think your move this play is 4v1. Oh. They, t they went a different direction. Did purple accept my alliance? No. The last video. Oh man, lots of people are talking. Hey Jimbo, it's going good. I had a dream last night that I was a muffler. I woke up exhausted. <laughs> good one, Koozie. The last video, not promoting, just giving context, was a game that I had these same settings, but fog was added. I lost my cap turn two. I was going to just suicide because all hope was lost. Huge suicider that targeted me. Long story. I didn't have a cop all game in the end, made a cap run one. Were you playing fixed? Because this is fixed. We should have added one more. So I think I add one. Hit up here. Fortify the two into the five. Come over the next time and bring it into my cap. Yeah, that's hard. It's hard to win. It's hard to win when you don't have a cap. So my goal here is just to keep get my cap strong and try to save as many of these troops. But I don't really want to make a whole bunch of, of, of hits. I could also hit with the four, fortify the three onto the four, and then the next turn hit over here and move them up. That's a possibility. Whoa, whoa. Kuzi, five subs. Thank you. That's awesome. Wow. This is this is accidental settings. That's what this is. And then he guards the portal. Yeah, you don't want to guard the portal. You want me to get out. Okay, so my five is the biggest. Two attacks. Yeah, we're cool, Blue. We're cool. 
I literally just traded my cards in, no matter the size, so people think about killing. Don't would not think about killing. That, that's hard. Like those those games where you're just like lost. That's really hard. Meh. You could have waited a turn and not had to roll a four, but I was staying in your bonus a long time. I could totally f with with a uh, purple across the board if I wanted to. All the portals are in continents that people are going to want. I got little ones. I rolled this. 2v1, if it's still there. And then I rolled a 10v2 and fortify in. Yep, that's my plan. Yeah, in prog caps especially. In prog caps, you can, as long as you're not dead, you can come back. I think red thinks they're getting this continent. You're not. There's no reason to guard against black either. Well, I can roll into I can roll into Australia this turn. Roll out the two and roll into Australia. That's my plan, and then fortify back to my cap. That's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. So white's cap would normally be bad, but because of the portal, it's good. But they're not really like utilizing this five. There we go. <laughs> see who's allied with me. Red doesn't like me because I'm in their continent. Where do we think that there's going to be troubles? I think that purple is going to struggle to keep this. Got it. Uh, black probably will keep their content because they have a 10, unless red wants to mess with them. White's okay. Blue's okay. Vampire Chicken, thanks for the follow. 17. They're fine now. Now they're fine. They got Australia. They're going to get big. I can honestly not take a card and get second and just chill. That's what Arco does. I have little cards. Do I wait one turn and see? Or if I can attack, or if I can come back through a portal, I can do that too. I think as long as I have this portal here, I get my cards like over here. Boom. Oh no, but I don't have this portal. So I tack onto that portal and then I, I make that my plan. So. All right, this is what we're doing. We're going to see a bot here. He's got nothing going, so he's going to bot. Neutral bots, too. So this 12 will get bigger and bigger. Because conceivably, I could take that cap. But the rolls won't be good, and they probably never will be good, because they'll add there. But eventually, I'll have like 80, and they'll have like 20 here. And maybe I'll think about taking the cap. I don't know. So this is my spot. Ontario or 
Northwest Territory. We're in for a long haul with classic fixed caps. Hit the four. It's about time. Surprised we only have one portal cap. These turns are not quick either. And people aren't like moving fast. Which is kind of frustrating. I wanted to play Classic Vic without capitals. That was my goal. My cap is pretty strong. About 15 second turns are the way to go. Try to force the game along. Patience is the sharpest tool in my arsenal. I know. It really is right now. Luckily, there's portals, so people don't have to jump through me. Never seen a more tactically patient player without being totally passive. Thank you. This was, I set up a lobby, and I thought I was setting up a, uh, a regular fixed lobby, and it turned out to be this. It turned out to be caps. I didn't turn caps on because I played caps last. That's a really good compliment. Tactic. Tactically patient. Yeah, I got a, a kind of a bad comment on my YouTube video today where someone was like basically saying all I do is turtle. But, and that, that can be true. Like, if I need to turtle, if that's the move, I will turtle for eternity. Um, but if the move is to kill somebody, I kill them. Like, I probably, I kill so many people. <laughs> um Let's see if I got another dude. No, I got Okay, so I can wait. No one's going to hit my cap. If it's anybody that's blue, they'll fail and then I'll probably be able to kill them. But nobody else has enough troops <clears throat> to make a cap hit on me right now. They're trying to... Okay, I like that. Get away. Get get through the bot. So I probably take, like, Alaska because of the portal I can hop through if I need to. Did I brag? You know, when if, I think players see that being passive or at least not overly aggressive is conducive to actually winning, so they try to be super passive, which anyone can do and probably get GM or close. Yeah. In certain games like caps, prog caps specifically, you can probably get GM just by being passive. Um... Oh, snap. They stole a cap. Do I have a way of getting down there? That's a lot of troops. One, two, three, four. It's nine. I get five. And dudes, I can't kill them either. So what we do is what? He flagged. He flagged with five cards. I don't think they ever turned the cards in. I'm going to come through this portal at some point. So I need to keep the portal open. And I'm blocked either way this way. So who kills him? 
Black kills him, right? 18 troops, 5 cards. They flagged, though, so they're just a road bump now. They don't have a cap. So. Thank you. Is it quite possible to get blue out of the game? Now, what I was saying about passivity, though, is there are times not to be passive, there's times to be passive, and the nuances of that is is where you find grandmasters. But like, if I watch Spud, who wins tons and tons of cap games and gets ranked really high, and he's playing classic progressive caps with fogs, and blizzards, and no portals, like those nuances of of when to when to attack and when not to are what make him so great. I can kill dude now. We can just get the white player off the board now. Cuz he opened my he opened my path. Um uh, I have all dudes. 10v7, 12v7. That's 100%. Oh, we need to hurry now. I still didn't get a big trade. Okay. I'm somewhat neutral, but I removed the bot, and I have five cards, so I feel good about that move. Um, Fred's also a bot, but they're stacking on a cap. But red didn't flag, so red actually placed higher than white by not flagging. Spud is a monster. But he, I watched him the other day, and he sat on North Africa for an hour and a half but i've also watched him and he's just pounding 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 people so it's the nuance it's like when to do it and when not to do it and anybody who knows who he is does not think he's like a bad caps player It can't even like trap blue or black, like because it's a move to to take black out of here. But because of the portal, they're still gonna have hits. This cap would be nice, but it's it's very costly. I think I add one to Alaska and fortify my five in. We'll see how greedy blue gets. I think they're gonna take both of these continents. No, they're just chilling on their caps. They really just wanted the cap. How many troops am I getting here? Cam check is great because that's where I wanted to get my my card from anyway. I don't think anybody ever opens this portal for me. 
or my way down to red. Red only has three cards, and it doesn't take 45. It probably takes like 60 to kill them. So I don't think I'm ever going to be attacking red. Purple trades. Do they know how to play caps? I'm, I'm thinking they don't because they have less on their cap than they have on the portal. So we'll see. What's that 18 over there for? Oh, they're taking out red down here. That's also interesting. They hit, they hit a neutral bot that hard. That's really interesting to hit a neutral bot that hard. Why are you still hitting? They wanted to be in Kamchaka too? Oh, they're probably going to try to come down and kill this bot, maybe. I don't know. I haven't had... I, what's up, Gabe? How you doing? I haven't... Gabe is an old school uh, Risk YouTuber. I just... QL, um, I hear he's very good at playing caps, but I haven't got to watch him a lot. He's not on when I'm available to watch. So... But I hear lots of good things about him. I did play him in a 1v1 tournament a while ago. And he won by like a game, a point, a game. Doing good things? Good. I'm happy for you. You got GM doing auto match, classic fix. I don't even think Fog's necessary. Like, if you watch the Prog Caps games I choose to play, I don't think Fog's necessary. So, here's what I think the idea is, the meme is. Is anyone going to hit my cap? Can I try to save a wild? I have a 52 cap. I can save it. I think the the idea is that you can leverage a skill gap with fog on a you know like large map um caps frog caps but i I think that what happens as well is there's that skill gap of fog being able to see through the fog but also um you know your opponents can't see everything that's happening that they might act on. You know, is and you can't see everything that's happening, and you're a grandmaster, so a lot of times you're a grandmaster. So, um, you want to have like that knowledge is power. It's it's maybe more powerful to you than is a detriment to the other people because they play randomly a lot of times anyway. I don't know if I'm expressing this for real. I have a thought about this, though, that, like, I don't know if the fog actually increases um, increases, like, adds that skill gap that we think it does. So, I've been thinking about that, because, like, I can play fog, progressive caps fog, but if I just pick, like, a, a mute a, a map larger than classic. I throw on blizzards and fog. I get a really good win rate. Just doing that. So, like, very good. Um, with without the fog. So, and by being able to see what people are doing, like, I can leverage that knowledge. I think they take Europe, right? Can I trade without? Yeah, I can trade now without. I could take revenge on purple, but it doesn't get me anywhere. 
Purple's, you know, slightly bigger than me. And it just means that I'm probably next to die. I got fourth in the game already. Yes, anti-purple isn't profile. That's a great saying. Anti-purple isn't profile. That's right. That's a very interesting way of looking for it. Looking at it. Because lots of times people will be like, you could have done this and this and this to this player. And in board position wise, it's correct. I could have done this, this, and this to this guy's gonna get his cap taken to that player. Um but as far as um, psycholo psychologically speaking, I don't think it's correct. So um, this idea of anti other players on the board isn't pro you. Smart. It's a smart way of saying it. I like that. Maybe I'll make that my title if I put this one on YouTube. Koozie. Right now, man, I wish. Right now, my move is to chill for like eternity. Is Black Body out too? What would I do if purple botted now? Pete said something similar? Of course. Of course. How many people are we going to have bought out of this game? I hit black next turn and fortify in? No, I don't want to hit black. Because that blocks me to come across. This cap's not... I mean, neither cap's really blocked. They can come through the portal. That territory doesn't allow both caps to come out at once. Yeah. Chill with Phil. Chill like Phil. Um, I had... I was just playing for fun on my phone, and I was playing on an alt account. And I realized that, like... When I'm not accountable... And, it like, if it's not my main account and it doesn't count for rank... And I'm not accountable for it because um, no one's watching. I'll slam people more and lose way more, right? So um, I've totally... You need to protect your cap. This is a caps game. You need to protect that cap, dude. That was an interesting move. Is like using a 20 per 6 to protect... The, that route to the cap. But yeah, I was like, oh man. This isn't fair to the other players because like I ended, one night I ended up like totally slamming someone for a second because I got bored who was playing like a good game. They're being good neighbors but hitting when they needed to and teaming when they needed to and I just got bored and hit them, hit this person. Are they gonna hit the 20? That was a weird move. But now I can get cards in, uh, in Asia. I don't really want to get a card in Asia because that drops in below 12. 
If blue drops them below 12, then I will get a card in Asia. Yeah, how many games I've won because someone else did that. But a lot of times people suicide for like a reason. And I didn't have a reason. I just got tired of the game. I've also lost games because of it. And it feels really bad. Like, I don't want to do that to somebody else. Like, ruin their game because I was tired or bored. If I had a route to red, I might think about taking their 33 troops. But I have no way to come down. Taking their 33 troops in a cap and three cards. It would be costly, but it would open up the board. Okay. So, what we just saw was black was aggressive towards purple by cutting down their troop amounts. Because purple was positioning themselves to take more territory and take more advantage of the game. So I'm wondering, are we going to see purple be aggressive towards black? It's a good... Yeah, it's better. I'm moving around too much. Messing up my camera. Struggling to focus. They thought too long. Now, now your cap is... No, it's, it's not blocked. They can still come through me. Maybe they do come through me. Don't want to kill Red if they open me up. I don't think so. It's too costly. Someone might get the idea of like double or triple tapping my, my cap and then that's just it. Because Blue technically could come through and like hit my cap and he hit white without killing him he just hit the cap which is why he's still behind me even though he's getting two more troops so now i hit into asia i start taking cards in asia Because I can't come to this portal right now because of the three without hitting a three. Yeah, it, it's more fun when you're playing with with good players. I really like risk, not just when you're playing with good players, but when you when everyone is incentivized to win. Eighty eighty on my cap. You bought out. Yeah, because Andre, you sit around and then you have a lot to do, right? So there's some aggression between purple and black, but they haven't hit each other very hard yet. Purple could clear black out of the out of the area, but black has access with the portal. I think they don't know what to do. I don't think they know how to play caps. So I I wouldn't be surprised if we saw purple bought out. Yeah. So what do you guys think about... Yeah, they bought it. We have a three-player game now. So now they gotta... Now they gotta take a different stance. They gotta do something different. They're going to try to take that purple cap. Do 
there's no continent I can take. Like, there's no way to push my advantage that would actually work in this situation. Not, and I'm not even in an. I'm in. I'm in third now. And I have to use my wild. I'm going to do this. And then move the three over. Never play Catan. Okay, they came back. That's good. Because black and purple were having some animosity. And them coming back is good. If they completely annihilate each other, then it's a 1v1 with me in blue. And... I think I can beat blue. Because I don't think blue's move on white was good. How would I beat them, though? Card block them? I'd have to take a cap and card block them. Play Catan sometime? Um, I think I think I played it long ago with family members, but it was the actual board game, and I didn't really know what was happening. Black and a bot. I'm really surprised because of how aggressive blue was early. That blue is is being this patient. Interesting. Now I bring this five back in. That's my next move. Katana instances and breaks up families. They used to say that about risk. Risk and monopoly. They say that about those those games. If I ever get open to this portal again, I'm never hitting that portal again. But I needed to to kill white. I mean, maybe I kill attack black. Yes. My plan is to hit Asia. What? I don't understand. I don't understand what they just did. Yeah, but I don't know what you want me to do to attack black. I definitely don't want to. I definitely don't want to block myself. I can't kill black. I don't understand what you want me to do. I didn't know they meant like slam a forty stack. Purple's almost killable. Straight down through the portal and up. That should go on your cap. It's going to go on the, the portal, though. Why would they say attack black and then hit purple? They wanted, like, 2v2 with me? They wanted me to hit st off cap stacks. Kind of makes sense, but then I block myself. I'm not on a portal. Like, did they expect me to slam a big stack? Is that what they were expecting? I don't know. I 
I think black hits. Blue here. What do we think? Like, I don't think they let blue hold. Not bl not not black. I think purple hits blue. So. This is fixed, man. It's an accident. This game's an accident. Now he's getting 10. Do we think black wants another cap? I could go take another cap right now. Um, but what point do I think it's worth killing red for NA in a second cap? I would probably do it now if I was open to red. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Because I think I could protect my caps almost as much as these guys. And it would be worth it to me. I would probably not really guard North America in that instance. But, I mean, you can expect to lose. You probably lose, like, 22, 23 hitting the 15. Plus the other 18. So you're probably losing, like, 41. Which would put me at 80-something. Which, would, I mean, I'd be okay. And then I would have, like, almost 40s on two caps. i hold them. Um, so I think it'd be worth it right now if I was open. That's true. I could, I could fortify like all but 50 off onto this. And if I did it where it wasn't on a portal, I'd be all right. Yeah, I might do that. Just flip the board and walk away. Yeah, I might do that. I might take action here. So I have 28 to hit. That will do it. And then I can split on my caps. See if somebody else beats me to it. If they do, they do. They're punching a lot of troops and they don't get North America. And, you know, I lost... What did I lose? Six troops hitting a five? That, that was not a good roll. What does black do here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, no one's... Everyone's letting blue hold. 
They could double tap this cap. Oh, they're going to kill red. Interesting. They beat me to it. They're killing red, right? They're not killing red. I'll just kill red then. All right. I think they got a decent roll. 21 hitting a 15. That's not, that's pretty normal. I think I kill red. Leave the portal open. And fortify back to my cap. Black really wanted a second cap. I think that's what their whole maneuvering was about. Was about getting a second cap. I could block out of here, then they have to break somebody. Or open me up eventually. And maybe I want to clear black out of Asia. Yeah, because if I clear black out of Asia, they have to either open me up or break somebody. And that's all good. Ooh, we got a war. Black's still bigger than me. They're going ham on them. Yeah, blue got greedy. Blue got greedy. 45. I don't really want to hit a 45 cap and then start a war with black. Even if it was open. Or a 43. I mean, I can technically I could steal the, the other cap from them. I'm fine now. Yeah, it's fine that Black did that. It's not terrible for my game. Yeah, maybe they should try for one of them. Maybe they should try for just Africa. Africa feels kind of like um, Australia or South America, even though it gets one more. But maybe they should try for like just one of these. Oh, I have a big trade. Gotta sneeze. Okay. We'll get the three over so I get a, a take without adding anything next turn. All good. All good in the hood. 54 minutes into the game. Just trying to decide, do I hit them both? Okay, so if I'm purple, I'm telling them no Europe. But when you tell them no Europe and Africa over and over again, you're going to make them mad. So you should probably chill. You should probably just break Europe and see if that works.
Do I want to be aggressive towards black and take them out of Asia? Just try to hold that, dude. Just try to hold... Just try to hold... Africa. Okay, so you may be looking like there's 57 on a cap, like maybe I can kill purple, but if I do, even if I make it, even if I win, it'll cost me like everything and I just get third. Somebody kills me and they go into the 1v1. Hydrate. I do a little better than that. His name was Fake Powers. I didn't know True Powers was streaming. I kind of want to hit this 47 of black. I think it's the wrong move. But it looks like fun. Thanks. <laughs> All right, well, let's see where this goes. There's some small aggressions, but this purple keep... What happens when purple keeps slamming blue? Does blue get fed up and retaliate? When blue retaliates, I go next. So if something catastrophic happens... I can take advantage. Good game, he says. Okay, so maybe I get like second in this game. Blue slams purple. I kill blue. I take their caps. Blue's had enough. So I think the move, if you want to kill purple, is to come through here, slam this. Yeah, and then you'd slam with your other army. I mean, you're not killing purple. I could slam this 47 now. I want to appear like I have no idea what's going on, though.
My move as soon as the game's like wide open is to slam this 47. Like if these players continue to annihilate each other, try to get the attacker's advantage on this 47 and then try to figure out a way to maneuver board position. So come through, slam the 47, come up and like clear everything if I can. Purple's probably like, why? Why did he hit so many troops? I don't understand. Does that 63 leave? No. He's he wants he wants Australia back. Seventeen. I don't what's up, Buffalo Traveling Manatee? Round five tomorrow. One shot. You'll do good, man. You'll do good. 117 to 100. Yeah, it's something like that. There's actually... I mean, I don't know what Balance Blitz does. But it, it's, it's very close to that. If you're just rolling dice. I, I looked at... um. Long ago when I first started playing, I read this article that some kids from like M MIT created and it was talking about dice rolls and risk and they talked about um, your percentage of chance on a 3v2 with the tie going to the the 2 and it was something like your chances of winning two was like 0.17 greater than losing two or something. And then, you know, you have your even chance in the middle. So it's something like 0 .1, 0 0.17. No, blue's never going to let purple keep AU. A AU is over for purple. And per I mean, they're just going to hit each other. This is what's going to happen over and over again. And purple's probably thinking like, wow, look at blue, they're my enemy. But they did. Blue hit purple first. I keep forgetting that. Blue slammed a purple stack earlier in the game. I really kind of want to hit this 47. I hope blue comes over and tries to take this capital at some point. Or black does this capital at some point. That would be good for my game. If they have three smaller caps. I mean, the larger this number is, the more I want to hit it. Roll that 9v6. Let that cap out. Yeah, once you have more than 20 dice... The odds go way up. When you're attacking big stack to big stack. It's around 18 actually. In true random. And here's why. If you're attacking a 5v3. We'll do a 9v. What, is, what would make sense? 7v7. You both lose one, it's a 6v6. You both lose one, it's a 5v5. You both lose one, it's a 4v4. You both lose one, it's a 3v3. Now you're attacking two dice on two dice. And it's that point at the end where you're attacking two dice on two dice or one dice on two dice where you lose your attacker's advantage. Um, so the greater your number is where you can 
use that little bit of extra percentage attacking a 3v2, the the greater your chance of like winning and taking out more troops of theirs than yours. But when you're attacking like a much smaller number, blue went offline. So we have a three player game. And purple took forever. Blue just flagged it. Blue should have bought it. Whose cap do you think I should roll? Blue's? Purple's still here, and they did this before. Yeah. But you don't have to know that. You just have to know percentages. What's black doing? Is black botting? What do I do? Take one card and pass? Did ever I don't understand. You don't have to wait ten minutes after a flag. I wish I knew if they were botting. We're going to do this. What we can do is we can get the attacker's advantage on both stacks or make black punch through if purple's gone. If purple's gone. Be wary of the double tap, though. I could hold Asia. Yeah. They're still here. Purple's still here. Okay, so we have a three-player game. There's no reason to do that. They bought it. They're not going to get any more troops. You're not unleashing black either. This this play makes no sense. Something just happened. Hey, C. Comey, thanks for the follow. Black's really thinking too. I feel like everyone's just like bodying out at the same time. I had a game like that and this and then where everyone was bodying and then it gave me last place one time. It was a caps game too, a longer caps game. I don't want third. Okay, so this is enough. I do this.
See if Black comes back. Black soft line. Okay, so I got purple trapped. This is weird. I mean, I can just take cards and pass and maneuver troops around on purple. If purple brings troops off cap, then I can hit those troops and eventually hit their cap and kill them and then start slamming off cap troops of black um, and protecting my caps. So that was a GM play there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, that was a good play. I'm happy with that play. I think I'm just I think I'm just waiting for ten minutes now, basically. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm way ahead on purple. So I can start slamming black, but I don't want to block the portal. Something like this. Purple has cards 15. I probably need to put a little more. I probably need to make these like 25s actually. Yeah, a lot of it is waiting until players bought. They're botted too. Everybody's botted. There's going to be no fortifies. Okay. Honestly, it's a time thing now. It's a time thing now, is all it is. We'll make these 25s eventually. I don't really care. All right, I'm going to use the restroom because it's just a time thing now. We're just waiting. So, BRB. Okay, so they have to flag in order for me to be able to leave.
I can't just leave if they don't flag. So I have to wait the 10 minutes. Which is crazy, right? Yeah. So neither of these guys flagged, so it hasn't even been 10 minutes since Black flagged. And if one of them comes back, then I have to continue the game. So very literally, it doesn't matter, like, how long I make my turns. What matters is 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm not... Whoever comes back, I slam. And I'm getting bigger, and they're not. And I will... Um, I will totally hit one of them eventually. Like, I'm getting a card every time. Hey, Mallory Lynn, how are you doing? Um, these players just, I just need to wait for them to be gone for 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, if they flag, if they say, you know, like, basically the game's giving them time to come back. Make, we'll do this. We'll make this a three, a four. We'll put the rest here so I have 100% roll next time. Let's just start throwing stuff on cap. And then I'm going to have enough to hit the 26. I'm just going to keep hitting things that are off cap. Okay, so black's gone. If I slam purple, I save maybe a minute. If I just slam all my troops in the purple... Plot twist, this is single player all along. Yeah, I, I'm going to slam purple, probably. I'll probably do it next turn. See what I can get out of it. Kill 18, lost 5. <laughs> but then I didn't get an amazing roll. Okay, so I don't know how purple, long as purple's been gone, but I'm going to kill them. They'll get second still because everyone else has bought it out. And I'll move on with life. There we go. Wow, having to wait is not fun. Okay. What's up, Patchy the dog? So I still gave purple second. Nobody worry, because everyone else, once you're all the way gone, you're gone. Expert, expert, novice, beginner, beginner. All right, subscribe and follow.